So we're back <laughs> and it's Fiending for More and we've kind of flipped the script to where there is question and answer with me. But you might see me like try to flip it right back to them because boy, there was some shit that I was talking about the, on the first episode with Keanu Reeves. And I'm like, oh my God, what if, <laughs> what if he ever listens to this? He won't, but whatever. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I'm going to first start out by um, asking you, this is week number f- four or five for her? Honestly? Five. Five. It's week five for you. Does it feel like? Does it feel like you've been here for five weeks? It feels like I've been here for like five months. I feel like you've been here five. Like I feel five years with both I've, of you. Yeah, I was it's like, it's been I've, like really fast, but really slow at the same time. Yeah, isn't it weird? And with he and I, like, it's so weird because now that I look at you, I see so many like different facets that have happened in like the last few months. Where I feel like we've all kind of been through. We've been through a Some lot. Shit. A We've been lot, through a lot together. together. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, pandemic aside, I mean, just our lives, the people around us, um, from family sickness to businesses to friendships to to dating, like it's crazy. <laughs> oh my fucking god. And it's kind of great to have you guys. Like I, I was literally thinking about the holidays. You know, I was I was in Vail with my husband, and I was thinking about like who I want to be around me in the holidays. And like I was just like I already started thinking about Christmas presents for you guys. Like that's oh. that's where my head goes oh. because I'm like you're my family now. You know, and it's it's weird to 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 Fiend's feel family. that way. Yeah, it's totally the it's Fiend's a Fiend's family. family. Yep, the Fiend fam. You know, it's like the more I think about it, it and. It's it's weird because I've worked for a lot of different companies, yeah. but I haven't felt so like intentional. Like I haven't met his mom yet, and I like the very first time we started working, I was like, I want to have her over for dinner, you know. And you know, with your sister, I'm so glad that I met her. But I'm like, I want the Caponettos over, you know. So and be careful what you wish for on that one. <laughs> so you can, are, call, you can call your subscribers your fiends. Yeah, right. Oh, I, like I know. That. What up, my fiends? What up, fiends? And we're the I know, fiend right? Family. It is the fiend family. I love it. So what is the holidays like for you guys? Are you guys like, what's your favorite holiday? Um, Thanksgiving. I could totally see I mean, that. Christmas is yeah. like cool and all, but like Thanksgiving, the food comes out. It does. I mean, we're whipping. And there's hype. There's hype for Christmas. Yeah. It's like, like it's the Thanksgiving, yeah. Thanksgiving is like pre-Christmas. Yeah. So mine is Christmas and not because of the Christmas gifts per yeah. se. Um, actually, my mom's family on um, that side of the family, we haven't done gifts and i think since i was like three years old because i have 25 first cousins on my mom's side yeah um so christmas is my favorite because we make um about four to five hundred raviolis every year and we have my actual favorite day of the year is ravioli day and it's usually like beginning of december because we have to make them in advance yeah um so yeah we make those and we make them on Christmas and it's basically like Merry Christmas all of you you get to gain some pounds you get to yeah. gain right. some pounds I was gonna say like, it looks like I'm gonna put on the freaking Caponetto like what is that what was it cap it off at, yes. I don't, whatever, <laughs> cap off my weight I'm like yeah, oh, so that's what I love holiday. pasta I'm, we just, use, I'm just looking forward to those cookies those sugar cookies oh those those, 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 yeah, those yeah, like the a, one, like they have them for certain holidays so like for Halloween they have like um, the pumpkins for mm-hmm. like Christmas, they have like the reindeers and the trees. Oh, you're talking like the Pillsbury The Pillsbury ones? cookies. Oh, you can get those at Constantino's for $2. Those smack. I oh my God. love Wait it. Wait until you get some of my family. See, like homemade cookies are cool, <laughs> but like they're just not built like Pillsbury. Bring it, bitch. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> Give it, bring it on. Oh, it's so funny because for me, I guess I look at the holidays and I am, I am the person who literally right when Halloween ends, my Christmas tree goes up. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't give two fucks. I'm oh, like, yeah. it's November, bitches. And then it doesn't go down until, like, at least, I think the earliest I've ever taken down my tree is, like, January 15th. That's a good time. Like, I keep it right at that, like, almost offensive you edge. Keep, you can keep it till, like, February without yeah. it being weird. Because I think the but latest I've had that's a lot of effort to only keep it up for a month, you I know? I know. And there's all these... there. So what happened that's funny with me is I lived in New York, and there was this huge storm. I mean, like, my, I had a... There was a basement of my apartment complex, and I love Christmas. Mm-hmm. And I had all these ornaments that I had collected... I had, I love Alice in Wonderland. I had all these like beautiful snow globes. I had all this Christmas stuff. And this hurricane came in and it flooded the fucking basement. 
and all my Christmas decorations were destroyed. So oh, that no. year for Christmas, I reached out to everybody um, at my dance studio, my friends, my family. And I said, if you want to get me something for Christmas, I go, I need Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to buy me one. Just send me one. Maybe some like, you know, because the Christmas ornaments, there are, are ones in my mom's like little get up that literally have been since I was a baby yeah. or like her. So every ornament I have has either been given to me by my dear friends or my family. And Aww. everyone I put up like has a story and it just makes me like, even though it's a mishmash, it's not a pretty tree. It's yeah. not, there's some ugly ass <laughs> fucking ornaments. Thank you people who gave me like the one from 1974 <laughs> that has like the broken eyeball. Yeah. You know, it's like those Christmas ornaments you put on the back of the tree, yeah. you know? S Saturday Night Live did a really funny skit about that where you don't really throw your Christmas ornaments out, but like the ugly ones you put at the back of the mm -hmm. tree. And this whole skit is these ugly Christmas ornaments talking to each other and be like, <laughs> one is like, <laughs> Half burned and she's like <laughs> talking outside of her mouth and the other one is like you know of the free one that you get in like the mcdonald's happy meal and and they literally are like the sad christmas ornaments and on the other side it's like the popular ones oh, you right, know right, like the yeah. disney ornaments that are the princesses like, oh my god i'm so pretty yeah. or you or you turn the half burnt side of the tree to the corner <laughs> show your good side so you don't you can't tell that you almost burned down your christmas tree so you just <laughs> don't want to get a new one you just <laughs> Try to make it look pretty. Mom, mom, the tree is burning. <laughs> Aaron's mom. You didn't hear that story, did you? No. No, please. You burnt your Christmas tree? I didn't burn the Christmas no. tree. <gasps> no. My mom burned the Christmas tree, and she was cooking in the kitchen. She didn't believe me when I ran in there. I was like, hey, our Christmas tree's on fire. So you should take the blame for it as a good son. No, this is her no, no, cards. No, 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 no. She decided to yeah. put cards on the tree and then light candles next to the tree. Yeah, no, no, and no. The no. Cards this is fall. called oh, he could get no. arrested for arson. His mom would, yeah. Sorry, mom, I'm not going to go down for arson. Oh, no. But it's funny. It was hilarious. Wait, so is Christmas your favorite holiday then? It, you asked us our favorite. Yeah, I would have to say, well, Christmas, because I love gift giving and I love parties. But I'll be honest with you, and I'm going to be unpopular on this, even though I love Halloween. I really love Valentine's Day. Um, and the reason why I yeah, love you're unpopular. On totally. That Everyone's like, it's a made up holiday. I could have swore um, it was going to be Halloween. Yeah. It's, it, 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 uh, Halloween normally is, is, but it's just changed. And I think the reason, and I'm saying it now, you asked me this two weeks ago and I would have said Halloween 100%. But now I am like, sometimes you have to have reminders and that holiday is all about a reminder of telling someone you love them. That's so true. And I'm like, yeah, we need more of that in this world of like, you know, just just let your guard down, even if the person's paying the ass, if they're a family member, you love them. <laughs> if or, you know, with me and my husband, the thing that's so great about that holiday is I realize how often we say mm -hmm. I love you to each other and how many times we're talking about love languages. Right. And like <clears throat> it does make you reflect on how you What is everybody's love language? Oh, you go first. I love Duh. Okay, so I'm probably like the worst girlfriend ever. Um, words of affirmation and touch are not mine. I really like acts of service. Yeah. So I will show my love by just doing things for people. Yeah. Mine's got to be music and like sending music back and forth to each other. So I that would be. You just made yours up. Yeah. <laughs> I know he did. He, did, he, did. Like, like, yeah. he made it up, folks. It is. It, but it is. I acts know of someone service. feels me. I know someone it's feels me on that. It's acts of service. It is. He's an act so of service. He's an act of service. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think like if someone like I don't know, for instance, like took Albert out for a walk and like brought back like little toys mm -hmm. and like cleaned up your apartment, so you would be like, she fucking loves ten me. Ten lovers, then. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Can't be putting that out. Yeah. Just kidding, guys. Yeah. And this is an old episode. So, he is so old. past like from so 2010. So past that. Yeah. 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 This is like our archives. Albert's not even alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Albert wasn't born yet. Yeah, Albert so wasn't born. We're just talking about this fictitious dog. Yeah, but speaking uh, into but I would think like, are you someone though who like, um, are you really handsy? Like, do you need? Yes. To, okay, so you need. You I need, don't need to be don't. clingy. I okay. don't. I I just enjoy it. Like, I'm in moods. Public yeah. in public. Yeah. No. Yeah. But like when we're just chilling at the crib. Yeah. I like, of course, like cuddling and hands on. But yeah. in public, I don't really like holding hands. I don't, I don't either. Yeah. How I do you feel know. about gifts? I love giving gifts. Yeah. But, but receiving gifts, would you be like, whoa? 
it depends. Yeah. <laughs> I get I, super awkward on my like, yellow panties, Aaron. So <laughs> <laughs> well, the picture? Remember that? I know. Oh, yeah. When I moved in? Oh, don't <gasps> eat. I know. Hopefully I know. she's not listening to that. I know. It's funny, though. Gifts are so funny because I think in the, the pre-stages, um, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> it's amazing how like, I don't know what the fuck I was telling myself and what I deserved back in the day. But like every time I would get a gift from a guy, I'd be like, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> I know what it about to be like, oh. <laughs> oh, a gift Thanks. card to Chili's. Oh. I mean, it's, it's a amazing. McDonald's, a McDonald's gift card for $5? I can get something not the dollar maybe. Uh, and the worst is when, like sometimes I, when I was younger, when I didn't have enough money and I knew a fucking holiday was coming up and I was like, fuck. Mm -hmm. And guys are hard to, to get anyway. Oh, they're so difficult. So then like, you know, you do the, the other thing that's really like what I think is like the cop out that women do. It's like, they're like, I bought myself all this sexy lingerie surprise. And it's like, Nah, fam. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> coming from the man of the I mean, show. I don't know. I mean, like, it's okay, I guess, if you if you're like on a drought, yeah, and if he really likes like nipple yeah. clamps. But like at the end of the day, I'm like, oh, mm. all right, yeah, no, not you're me. Right I'm, nipple oh, clamps. Fiending for more. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fiending for more. But like, I just no, like, not my deal. But my husband is the most amazing gift giver. Like to the point to where, um. He just listens. He does. Detail like, oriented. Yeah. That guy. Oh my God. I mean, I, I feel like he doesn't forget anything. He doesn't. And like, he just, and then he'll, my favorite is the other day. He's like, he'll go on. He knows my aesthetic, like what I like to like a fucking tea. And then he'll just send me like, he'll go through, like he likes to actually go through like a Louis Vuitton's website. And he's like, Oh, look at this leather skirt. Bing. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you have got taste. He finds shit that like, I I didn't even know existed. And I'm like even on these sites all the time more than he is. And he'll find that shit. But my my whole thing is I guess I look at him and I'm always trying to figure out like ways I can like like be louder with his mm -hmm. love language. And then I realize like, oh, it's probably just more sex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing. That might be it. I mean, mm. but but every once in a while he'll be like, you know, I I wish you would be more affectionate. And for me, I'm always like, oh, does that mean like bom chicka bow wow like that affection? Mm. Because I feel like I'm affectionate with him. When you see us together, I'm curious. Yeah, no, I feel like you're affectionate. Yeah. No, you always have your hand on this. Yeah, I was yeah. just about to say that just this weekend. I, I mean, yeah. we were out and I saw your hand on him. Yeah, yeah. that to me is affectionate. Yeah, no, that to me, it, yeah, to I, me, it's it too is too much. I know. But I'm it's, like it's me. If you see me in public with someone, I'm Giovanna's like, like this. Like, <laughs> get, get that shit off me. They're like, is that her friend? And I'm like, no, boyfriend of ten years. Oh my <laughs> god, what is the most romantic thing anyone has ever done? And you can leave their name out. Like you were just like, I am in the fucking say anything movie with the boom box over like Aaron, you go first. Fudge. Um <clears throat> I know my ex when I was in college, like anytime she would come up to for the weekend. Yeah. Like food would be made, my laundry would be done, yeah, my room would be cleaned, <clears throat> and like it just made life so much easier. Cause like with football, you just are yeah. on the go. And then you go through so much laundry that you don't even like Yeah. So yeah, having having that done, that was awesome. That's so and cool. very appreciative. Yeah, mine is definitely name out. Um, so I dated this guy and I visited him because he did not live in Kansas City. Um, and when I got there, he had remembered my favorite wine from like a long time ago, like yeah. a long time ago, and also knew I loved sushi. So yeah. like I landed, he picked me up from the airport. We go to his house and um, we get there and he had my favorite wine like already delivered there. Yeah. And then 10 minutes of us being there, he the doorbell rang and it was like freaking 20 rolls of sushi because he didn't know my favorite one, but he knew I loved it. So there were so many options for me. Yeah. And then has one of my favorite movies on ready for uh, me to freaking watch. Uh, I didn't tell him any of this shit. That's super And I was cool. like, holy crap. Yeah, there's something really- I wonderful. ruined it with him. Let me just yeah. be clear. <laughs> we are no longer together. He, he tried to put his <laughs> hand on her knee too and then soon. And like, fuck <laughs> you, it's it done. Was it was five years too early. And she was just like, <laughs> not for it. Early. He's like, want to be my girlfriend? 
what? Yeah. What? And she's no. like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no one can accuse Giovanna of like going too fast. Right. No. I'm like, guys, I got two cats at home. <laughs> They're not ready to meet you. <laughs> you Chloe know, it's, and Peter. It's so funny because I feel like when, so when I, my standard for romance was like, Ba-bum, at the very beginning. So there was my high school boyfriend. I had two of them. And I have many stories about these, but I will go with boyfriend number two. Um, he ended up, it was like a like a fall, like a cold, cold night. And anyway, he camped out. He pitched a tent, not oh. a pitched a tent. He <laughs> pitched a tent. Probably did that too, though. <laughs> he probably did. He pitched a tent in front of my parents' house and slept in the tent. So I would wake up in the morning so he could drive me to school. And he had all these. Was this on multiple occasions or just? Oh no, one? this was once to <laughs> okay. tell me he was in love with okay. me. Oh, so wow. he put um, he put all these signs out. I taped them on the tent. One had a flower he drew. It was a really bad flower, but it was so cute. It said, um, "Based on my current financial situation, no better than like a college, like a future college freshman, I cannot afford a bouquet of flowers." Like it's very official. And he's like, "So I've." I'm like basically like presenting you this art picture of a flower. <laughs> and then another one says, angry fathers, please don't shoot. Just a love sick, delirious boy inside for your daughter. Oh. And then another one was like this sweet letter that was like, I needed to show you in a big way that I am in love with you. And I remember walking out and my heart just pounding. And then this, this older boy, I was a sophomore and he was a senior. And I remember just like, oh my God. And he was the same guy who later on got street paint and wrote, I love you on the neighborhood street as huge oh. as he could. He got in big trouble for that by the state or not that by the city of Wichita. They actually had to come out and like chisel it off later, but it was on there for a long time. <laughs> he was reminder. Like, I mean, he was like people, people knew in our high school, like, Aaron loves Seraphine so much. <laughs> and his name was Aaron, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron Mays. And Aaron was like, <laughs> I just, I just, I just dropped the last name. name. Sorry, Aaron Mays. Um, but it's so funny because he was, he's <laughs> such a, he was like the standard. I was crazy after him because I expected every guy mm -hmm. to be like painting shit on the walls and <laughs> pitching tents. <laughs> And he was, he the was wink so was for Johnny when he watches this. I know, right? He's going to have a tin outside. Um, could you please get a mural painted really fast? I know, really quickly. But yeah, it's funny. And then now it's it's so funny how those kind of like major yeah. acts can be a little bit like... A little too Rrr. much. Yeah. I will say though, like I've had someone reach out to me after a year of trying again and I think that's cute. No, that's amazing. Persistence, yeah. I freaking love it. No. And I do like when people reminisce. Yeah. I think it's kind of cute because I'm not that way. No. I'm like, oh. I kind of <laughs> love it when you've been like looking at someone from a distance. Yeah. I mean, that to me is super romantic to where like you, you kind of wait on timing. Mm -hmm because people are so quick to jump the fucking gun. And it's like oh the swipe God. right, swipe left thing where it's like, it feels so good to linger. Yeah. And like, let that kiss like hang in the air. And like what I, what, what that tension building of like, ooh, oh yeah, it's so hot. It's when it like, when it goes too soon and then you get all fucking crazy because all your hormones of like, done stuff with each other because you've touched each other <laughs> i mean it's just it's nuts and then a damn good letter like yeah. to me like when someone writes a letter or like put words to paper and they like tell you like they'll they'll, they'll go to instances of way back that you're like wait you like me then like that kind of shit like mm -hmm. whoo that fucks with I your do brain like that it's hot i do like that yeah yeah Aaron's like, oh. you know how they say, you <laughs> know how they say is. distance makes the heart grow fonder. Yeah. I think the tension makes the heart grow fonder. Totally. Totally. Oh my God. Yes. It's electricity. It's it that is. connection between two people that like, I think now everything's so fast forward. Um, what I love is, is I love when me and my husband get just enough drunk <laughs> and you know, he starts to like tell stories that either I either it was part of life that I was I didn't get to know him because we have you know we I got married to him when I was 40 and you know he lived 
literally two decades of da- dating without me. And I love to hear like these stories about him. And I'm like, oh my God. Or, or he'll bring up something about us that I'm like. You remember? you remember or like or I forgot about and yeah. they'll just like have this beautiful little story and I'm like oh my god and they happen you know those moments like you can't you can't recreate and they happen naturally and they're so fucking cool mm-hmm. and I hope you guys get lots of them like in your relationships because like watching you guys now I'm just like I live vicariously through you guys because I'm kind of like I know the mistakes I made and I know how happy I am now to where I got to the point I got But there are so many moments where like you guys will be telling me something and like it's so important to savor the moments, especially with good people. Like when when someone's an asshole, I'm just going to be like, why are you fucking with that? Mm -hmm. Like, don't fuck with that. But if it's special, it's like you can never get those moments back, like those beginning stages of dating. So pushing it to you. That is so true. Yeah. Well, I know we have to wrap it up here pretty soon. Do we we have like- That was a good episode. It's 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 like time. It's literally exact time. time. Damn, So I know I'm so good with timing. (laughs) So damn good. Well, it was fiending for more. I know I kind of flipped the script on these, but it's kind of interesting to kind of know Team Fiend, right? It's pretty cool. All right, so we'll see you guys on the flip side. See you later. Bye guys. Bye.